Oh, these are the things you're going to need. You're going to need 30 centimetres of fabric, 100% uh, cotton if possible. You're going to need your pattern. These will all be linked, by the way. This is um, an iron-on interfacing, which you're going to be ironing on to the fabric, obviously. Some Kaiser uh, Craft roses, glue sticks, glue gun. Uh, your double-sided tape, embellishments, laces, pearls, as well as uh, your roses that I showed you before. These are all from Spotlight. Everything that you see here are from Spotlight. Iron on your, your uh, interfacing onto the uh, fabric. Make sure it sticks. See how that missed a bit? So we're going to do a little bit more just to make sure that stays down there we go then we're going to cut it out next we're going to take our double sided tape and put it right on the edge and make sure it's it's held down very uh, nice and neat. So give, give it a good rub to make sure it stays down before cutting off the edge. Of cutting off the bottom is what I meant to say. Remove the paper. Make I'm still rubbing it down there, but we're going to remove the the top of it. That's just the paper we're peeling away now. And match up the sides. Now this is all 100% uh, cotton as I said. This is Prima Homespun I've used. This is the wine glass I'm going to be using to, uh, to pop the shade onto. Now we're going to take our, our wide lace and you can use any lace it doesn't it doesn't have to be what I'm using there any lace um, it's a personal preference and I'm always starting for, uh, from where the seam is at the back always at the back Now we're putting on a small lace, uh, which is very similar to the bottom lace. It's not exactly the same, but it, it's similar. Um, but you don't need to do that if you prefer to use a braid, uh, a ribbon, anything like that. Um, it's just so we're, we're covering up where our raw edges at the top there um, to give it a prettier look if you like. Here we go. Now we're going to put a little bit of pearl over the top at the very very top remember all of these these things that I've got are all available at spotlight Now we're going to do a, a ribbon 
you don't have to do the bow at the bottom if you like the way it looks now then that's a, I, I just like a little bit of embellishing so um, yeah I mean you could do cameos or, or whatever you prefer but I, I'm going to do a, a just a, a simple bow I tie my ribbons uh, while it's still attached to the long length of ribbon the I always like to do my bows and then cut off what I need to cut off at the end as you can see it was still attached there I'm just positioning where I want it to be now this is on the opposite side of where the uh, the seam is now this isn't going to sit exactly where I want it just yet because I've got pearls there and I am also going to attach it uh, where the uh, either end of the bow as you can see now so it will sit nice and flat These would be beautiful for, for weddings or, or birthdays or just to have on a uh, on tables and just a few little flowers around the bottom. Now we're going to put a flower on there of course and a good dob of, of glue on there. Go. we're just placing it on there but weddings and things like that we're going to place well I was going to say place a battery operated um, uh, flicker light which are also available at spotlight there we go the finished product with our light happening inside there our flicker light happening the link for this pattern is in the uh, in the description below and thank you for watching